Welcome to another Hiva movie. In this one we will present to you information about hydraulic system of a tipper truck and explain the hydraulic diagram based on a very common application. In this movie we will base on the most common tipper truck application that we can come across globally. It is a rear tipper body with a front telescopic cylinder and mechanical tail door without additional hydraulic functions such as hydraulically operated tail door, a foldable bumper or a shipping system. Of course, we also offer such systems for such additional functions, but for more info we will invite you to watch our other movies dedicated to such solutions. As mentioned earlier, this application on which we will base today is the most common from the global point of view. Its reliability has been proven in several continents and working conditions, starting from the construction business sector to the most demanding mining applications. Each hydraulic system for such a tipper truck consists of vital components that are always needed for such a system. Although these components may differ from each other with some parameters, their function remains unchanged. These components are hydraulic oil tank, return oil filter and air breather, ball valve at suction line, hydraulic pump, power takeoff, tipping valve, telescopic cylinder, knockoff valve, pneumatic control for tipping valve, hydraulic hoses for suction and pressure lines, and pneumatic hoses for controlling the tipping valve. Now let's move to the hydraulic diagram to identify these vital components and very briefly explain their role in the system. Hydraulic oil tank. It is the reservoir where the oil is stored for our system. Despite a variety of tank types available, its primary function stays the same, storing a sufficient amount of oil needed for operating our hydraulic system. Return line filter. Return oil filter is always recommended to be used in every system. It is responsible for cleaning the returning oil from the contamination, also from all possible products of system wear. Air breather filter. This filter is responsible for the contamination of air which is flowing into the oil tank while the oil is pumped into the tipping cylinder. Its role is critical as it is preventing the overall system from being polluted due to working environment. For example, due to dust or humidity from the air around. Ball valve. The ball valve mounted on the tank and suction line is used for shutting off the oil flow in case of any maintenance or repair is needed on the suction line or hydraulic pump. When present in the line, the draining of the oil tank is not needed. Hydraulic pump. Its role is to generate the flow of pressurized oil in our hydraulic system. Pumps are driven by the power takeoff units of various kinds, either by direct or indirect drive. Power takeoff. It is a gear mechanism which allows transferring power from truck gearbox or engine directly to drive the hydraulic pump, either by installing the pump directly on the PTO housing or with use of indirect cardan shaft drive. Tipping valve. This valve is responsible for operating the tipper system. In most of the cases, it is controlled by the pneumatic controls. It has also a built-in safety valve responsible for controlling the maximum working pressure in the system. Telescopic cylinder. It is the executive element of our hydraulic system. It is, of course, responsible for raising and lowering the tipper body. Knockoff valve. 
This pneumatic valve stops the tipping operation when the tipper body reaches the desired tipping angle, mainly to reduce building up the pressure in the tipping cylinder when it reaches the end of its stroke. In our case, it is mechanically activated by the cylinder when reaching its final position. Pneumatic control for tipping valve. This pneumatic valve mounted in the truck cabin allows the operator to control the tipper system operation by switching between neutral, tipping and lowering modes. Some models may also have the option for controlling the power takeoff engagement. In this specific diagram shown, this option does not exist. It is for controlling the tipping valve only. Hydraulic hoses. In our case, we have low pressure hose feeding the hydraulic pump and high pressure hoses connecting the pump, tipping valve and return filter. Pneumatic hoses. These pneumatic lines are needed to connect the tipping control with the tipping valve and the knockoff valve. With this being said, we have reached the end of part one of our movie explaining this hydraulic diagram for most typical application with mechanical tail door. In the movie part two, we will go more details into the diagram to explain more details about each vital component. Please see the link below to see the next movie which continues this subject.